Hi everybody. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. We don't have Alexi to do that part for us today because we don't have any kids. They are at grandma's house. We are kidless. Um, we are on our way, we're driving to Toronto. Uh, we're going to a concert together by ourselves. Christmas present, Amanda, good idea. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go see Walk Off the Earth tonight, um, but it's a four hour drive. And so we decided while we were driving that we could answer some of your questions. Um, you guys have asked us questions. We've had other homeschooling groups that have asked us questions and asked us to help answer some questions. And so we have, I think, seven or eight questions to answer for you guys today. And we're just gonna get started. Um, so if you don't know, we are the parents behind Raising A to Z. My name is Amanda. I'm Stefan. And if you've, uh, if you're looking for videos on things you can do with your kids, learning activities, uh, whether you're homeschool or even just uh, fun things to do with your kids after school, you found the right place. So you can check out some of our other videos and don't forget to click on subscribe and the little bell and then you can find out about all our videos and they'll come right to your email. So. So, uh, the first question we get um, is why homeschooling? Why did we pick to homeschool our kids? And our number one reason is we wanted our kids to love learning. Um, we really wanted our kids to love learning about things and learn about all kinds of things. And we wanted them to realize that learning was not something that you, know, you go to a school, you sit down, you learn, and then you never do it again. The idea that you know learning can happen anytime and anywhere and I just I just love that and that's how we were raised I think and yeah. in our families we know both of us were homeschooled and uh, but we wanted to make sure that our kids uh, grew up with that philosophy around learning yeah so we just wanted our kids to, to really love learning and to be uh, creative and curious and we that was, as teachers that's something that we see less and less in the school system. There's more negative attitudes towards schooling yeah. and that they think of going of learning as, oh, I have to go to school today and learn. And it's kind of a negative thing when really learning can be such a cool thing, it's such a fun thing. The other reason we really wanted to homeschool is because we wanted to be highly involved in our kids' learning. And, uh, you know, I have fond memories of learning activities with my parents when I was younger and just wanted to really be able to, to create that for our kids. Yeah, so while we never were homeschooled, we had parents who were always doing activities and educational type things with us after school and on weekends and stuff. Yeah. And I think when we kind of came around to the idea of homeschooling, the idea that we could be doing that stuff with our kids on a regular basis and all the time, and that could be their schooling, that's something that really drew us to homeschooling. Yeah. Question number two. Uh, that we get is uh, what model or style of homeschooling do you fall under? Um, we're new to homeschooling, not gonna lie, and so far we are kind of an eclectic unschooler family um, from kind of where we started and what we like to do with our kids and what our kids really like. That's kind of where we're going. Um, so, unschoolers, if you don't know, are usually um, they let their kids kind of lead the educational journey. But because we're eclectic, we don't always do that. We fall into different categories, um, but we really like hands-on learning. We're big into following our kids' interests. If they're really interested in a particular subject, like we will help them dive right in and learn all about that. And uh, I think that's kind of the style that we have. We don't really fall into too tiny of a box, but that's kind of where we're going. Question number three. What does your family think? I think we get this question because a lot of people have negative relationship with this question. Like their yeah. families don't like the idea of homeschooling, which is really sad. Yeah. Ironically, we come from a family. My mom is an educational assistant. My parents are both teachers, so we come from families of educators. And we're two teachers. They are all very supportive of. Yeah, everyone's what we're on doing, board. They so think it's. it's a, they think it's great. So we we don't have that problem of having that support our family think it's awesome so let us know below um, in the comments what kind of homeschooling style you fall under because like i said we're still learning the question that we've also gotten is how do we make it work homeschooling wise on one salary 
high school teacher and uh, Amanda was a teacher for a bit also. We're, we're lucky, I'd say, because I, I do have a good salary. When Amanda's teaching contract finished, we did, we did have to really uh, think about our budget and making it work, but we, we figured that out. So I'd say we're, we're fortunate uh, in, able, in, in being able to do homeschooling on one salary. Yeah, I think for us the key is um, budgeting knowing where, where our money is going and um, I do a lot of meal planning, we, I do a lot of price matching, I'm a price match queen when it comes to watching our budget and uh, I think we consider homeschooling an investment but we're also, we are deal finders. We are the people who look for sales, we look for deals, we look for free days at different places. Yeah. <laughs> um, if there is a deal, if there is a discount, one of us will find it, and I think that is a big key on how we can homeschool our kids and get what we need to get while also only having one salary. Um, but another thing was when my teaching contract ended, I didn't have another contract to go back to. So one of the things um, that we did was we had at that point lived on one salary. We made yeah. a point of that, but we figured out that for me to go back to teaching while having a kid, I would basically be as a as a starting teacher because I'd only been teaching years it was kind of the equivalent of us so, I would be working to send my kids to daycare yeah. at that age so and that was the point that was just before having kids and that was the point where we made the decision that you yeah. would stay home yeah. uh, Amanda had uh, in mind to start a blog and so we, we made that decision yeah we made so it work. I stayed home because it was honestly the more affordable option for us than finding daycare and it's kind of morphed into this homeschooling journey, which we're really excited about. The question that we got, a couple people asked us about, was how do we get our kids to sit down and like, how do we like discipline our class with our, like our class, our kids to, to do their work, to sit still and to get through their activities. Our kids are really young. They're three and a half and one and a half. So Zoe's not really yeah, homeschooling. Not homeschooling. Uh, Alexi, we started with in September. So, so she was just uh, three and a bit. Yeah. And we started you know, working on uh, letters and numbers and shapes and colors this year and so yeah and so really we try to keep because they're so young we don't try to get them to sit still it's just not a realistic thing for them to do um, there are certain times when we try to encourage them to sit like if we go to um, to a play group and they're having story time then we, we do try to get them to sit then but when we're at home learning we try to keep the sitting still kind of to as short as block as possible but we also find if they're doing activities that they really want to do and they're really engaged, that they will sit still longer and they will sit there and do it. So we try to pick um, learning activities or worksheets or things that they really like. And because if they're sitting there doing it and they're happy about it, they'll sit there a bunch longer. Um, Alexi went through a phase where she was really into coloring. And she would color for she would, a long time. She would sit down and color for an hour, like just and not move, just sit there and color for an hour. So we gave her a lot of activities that were coloring activities because that was something she liked to do. So kind of playing again to our kids' interests and our kids, um, their strengths, like using things that they like to do, um, and make develop sure. that that stamina, I guess, in terms of being yeah. able to focus on things. But but really, they're young, so, so so when they do have to focus on something, it's not for long. And we try to keep it short. Short little blocks. Our next two questions are actually about high school, which is really funny because our kids are one and three. <laughs> we're, we're way off on high school. Um, we're not there then, yet. Yeah. First question uh, that we had about high school was how long do you plan to homeschool? Amanda and I started talking about homeschooling well before we were even married, before we even had kids, before we even yeah. talked about having kids. And we, we knew we wanted to homeschool. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons was I was not a, a fan of the, uh, the play-based learning program. Having taught it, I, I thought it was a, I had a lot of things to say about it, but so I was always saying, well, oh, well, homeschool for kindergarten. And that was the, the original, Started there. that was the original <laughs> plan. And was, then we talked about, oh, maybe we'll homeschool like, oh, until grade three. Grade three. Maybe grade eight. Yeah, grade eight. <laughs> now we're just like, we'll just keep going until we don't want to do it anymore. Um, that's pretty much our plan. It started um, from kindergarten and now we're just like, we'll go for as long as we want to. 
the high school I teach at is an art school and we actually have a lot of homeschoolers who come to our school so I've been teaching this is my 11th year teaching now and I've seen a lot of homeschoolers over those 11 years of teaching and they're really great kids for the most part those those homeschooling kids um, I just always like the, the way that they they love learning and the kind of learners that they are and uh, their attitudes towards school. So that was one of the main draws, draws for me yeah. to, to wanting to, to homeschool my kids yeah. was seeing and working with uh, a lot of homeschoolers over the years. And then we were talking about you have, um, in particular right now, you have one family that are homeschoolers and in high school, they're basically done all of their like mandatory courses, their math and their English and all that. And they're in high school at the performing arts school taking kind of the fun classes. So they're in there taking classes that kind of hard to homeschool, yeah. like dance. So one of these students I, I met a couple years ago when, when she came to, to audition for our school. And I just, uh, I thought it was so neat that it blew my mind basically that she, she was done pretty much done high school and she was just coming to high school for fun for all those classes that uh, she couldn't perhaps do as a homeschooler so singing in the choir and and playing in the band and participating in, in uh, different activities like that with uh, with teachers who are, are extremely knowledgeable in those yeah. disciplines those arts disciplines who knows and our kids are really young but in terms of high school and where we're gonna go with that. That's a model we're really happy, kind of excited that maybe they'll pursue that. But we're really not sure how they're, what our future is, because we're gonna take this just kind of one year at a time. I teach at the high school where we both went to high school, so I think they'd have a fun time. Yeah, hopefully our kids wanna go there, because I think that'd be fun. Let us know if you guys have any more questions. We would love to answer more questions for you guys. And some of the questions we didn't get to because they are like huge questions and we would love those are video in themselves. But if you have more questions, leave us a comment and we will definitely do more Q&As with you guys in the future. So, see you guys later. Bye! <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications when we upload our latest videos. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. We'll see you next week for more activities, adventures, and lifelong learning. Bye!